how to set up stream alerts with stream elements using overlays. My name is Tree and I make streamer support videos. Stream smarter, no harder. I'm also streaming on Twitch, so go follow me on twitch.tv slash tree. Link is down below in the description. Let's go to streamelements.com and log in with our Twitch. If you've done that already, click on dashboard. On the left here, we're gonna go to streaming tools and overlays. We're gonna click on new overlay. We keep this on 1080p and click on start. Here we can set up multiple alerts. We can do that by clicking on the plus, click on alert and click on our alert box. This is where the alerts will appear in. You can center this wherever you want. Does it really matter? Cause we can center them in OBS as well. These are the different kind of alerts you can set up. Follow alert, subscriber alert, tip alert, cheer alert. So for bits, rate alert, purchase alert. So if somebody purchases something from your merch store and charity campaign alerts. So if you have a charity campaign going on and you've linked that to your stream elements. Let's jump into the settings of the follower alert. And here we can see, we can set an image by clicking on this. We can click on any of these we have already uploaded or click on upload and drag something here or select files. Let me just click on this one for a second so we can see what's happening. And then here we can see we have a default sound, which we can test by going to emulate follower. We can see that this is coming up right now. This is the default sound. We can also upload a sound by clicking on this, choose something that we've already uploaded or click on upload to upload something new. You can remove either the image by clicking on here or a sound by clicking on here if you only want visuals or if you only want sound. You can click both away if you only want text with this person is following. All right, this is the message that will show up. If we test this, we can see it says username is following. This is the name. This is the piece of code that you keep in because that is the person that actually followed. But we can change the sentence to whatever we want is now part of the crew. And if we test this, we can see it will say that now. Chemist is now part of the crew. They're following, right? How long do you want this alert to be viewed? 10 seconds. You can make that a lot less if you want or more. Here we have the position of the text versus the image. So here the text is under the image, here the text is on the right of the image, and here the text is over the image. Then here we have the maximum length for usernames. If you run into trouble with the usernames being too long, you can set a maximum length here. We can also add a custom CSS if you like coding, otherwise you can just leave this. We can have different variations, so you can add a new variation starting with a blank one. Basically this fills out the same as we just did. We're gonna look into these other options in a second as well. And we can have this variation for follower and the chance of it triggering is now 100% so it will always trigger the variation. But if you make this 50, it will either get this variation or it will get the default one. I'm not gonna add this variation, but this way you can rotate to multiple different ones. Here we have text to speech if you want this <laughs> has been following to be read out loud. We can set the, we can turn this on right here. Uh, we can set the volume and we can set the person that needs to say it. Different languages here, but the top ones are all English or English accents. And we can also have a delay on that. So the alert pops up and then after, for example, a second, the text to speech comes up as well. We have text settings here. There are text settings for this text. All right, we can enable a custom font, one of the Google fonts, or we can just pick a font right here for it. We can set a color here, for example, red. We can have the size of how big the text will be. Letter spacing and stuff like that, you can also change that. The outline, you want it to be in the middle or left outline, right outline, or do you want it like in a book? When a bold, cursive, underlined, stuff like that, you can set here. Weighted this bold here, you can basically set that here as well. Then you have a text shadow. I recommend having that on because then you can see the text a little bit more clearly. And then we have the highlight. This is gonna be the username itself. So now we have red text with blue. And then you can have an animation on that text as well. So you will have the animation on the username of the person, but you can also set it on none if you don't want any, any animation on it. There's also advanced settings for more margin if you would like to have even more control over it. And here it says animation settings and this is not just for the username but for the whole thing. So we can have 
this alert bounces in from the left or from the top and stuff like that. Instead of that, it like just appears, it will come in or go from the right, left. Any animation in here you can use, roll in or something, zoom in, and then this is how it will exit the screen again. You can also have a separate one for the text. This person is following. We can have that bounce in and stuff like that as well, or bounce out. And then we can also have the text appearance delay. So the text will come in a little bit later than the picture or text disappearance offset. We can also have that with the seconds. Basically the text will disappear before the picture disappears as well. You can test all your alerts by clicking on here and clicking on any of these alerts. So this is the follow alert, but basically it works the same for the subscriber alert. If you click on here, we can set an image, the sound, we can offset it. We can change this. Again, the name is the code. We can have the duration, the maximum length of the username. We can have a variety of settings. Well, with this, it's a little bit different. As you see, there's different varieties in here already. So if you if your alert isn't working, it could be that one of these is on. <laughs> so make sure to turn them off if you're not using them. But we can add a new variation here. And with this variation, we can have multiple... It's not gonna just be chance, but you can say, oh, if somebody subscribed exactly six months, we can have like celebration for half a year subscription or at least six months. We can have like a super, like super subscriber alert. We can also have a subscribe tier. So if somebody subscribes for tier three that you can have like a more celebration going on or if somebody did a gift sub instead of a sub for themselves or a community gift to a random person of the community or they upgraded their sub from tier one to tier three. So these are all different variations, all different parameters, they call them here, but different situations that this alert can trigger. And even then you can say the chance is not 100%. So now what is happening, if somebody subscribes at least six months, this one will 100% trigger. So this variation will trigger. Uh, if they subscribe for less than six months, the other one that we just made, will, the default one basically will trigger. But if we set this on 50%, and they subscribe for more than six months, that means that there's only 50% chance that this one will display. Otherwise, it will be the default one. You can have multiple variations for at least six months and you make just make sure that the percentage adds up to 100. <laughs> and the rest of the settings is basically the same as follow. Same with tip. Here you have variation settings as well. We can add that as well. And then here we can have the amount or the name of the person, at least, or session top, so most donated, or at least five, or maybe $6.66. Then you can have a scary one go off, right? So these are the variables you can use for the tipping. You can add as many variations as you want, by the way. Then here, we also have that with cheer. With cheer, you can also add some variations. They have already added some in default. You can edit these if you want. If you're not using them, make sure to turn them off because they will pop up otherwise. And here the variations are basically with the amount and the name, uh, the exact, exact least and top amount of bits. So basically 1000 bits, exactly 1000 bits or at least 1000 bits will get this alert, right? If you go back, we got that rate as well. We can have a variation setting for small rates or big rates. Amount of raiders, exactly or at least this many raiders. So if they join, they ended the stream and they raided you with 20 raiders. If you have this on 15, they will get this alert. If this is on 30, they will get the default alert. Then we have purchase alert. Did they purchase something in your merch store? Right now we have this cool animation going off with dropping a box. And the variation settings in here are amount or at least I'm not 100% sure if this is going to be money or items. How many items or how much money they have spent. I'm not 100% sure about that one. I want to be open about that that I don't know 100% sure if that is money or if that's amount of items. I just only use the default one on that one. And then with charity donations, they can basically donate to charity and you can link that charity to stream elements and then basically it will pop up in this alert box. You can test follower alerts by clicking on here. Subscriber alerts, click on here. You can even say like it's one subscription, it's a gifted one, a community gifted one, or you can say a custom amount of subs given right here. You can test tips given 
10 bucks, 15 bucks, or a custom amount. Cheers given, 1k, 5k, or a custom amount. Somebody re rates you, you can test that with 10, 50, or a custom amount. Item redeem from your loyalty store. And these are just the merch. That's a product they bought in your store. You can test that right here. For charity events, you can test that right here. And then there are some extra things like Tiltify alerts, Extra Life alerts, Donor Drive alerts, which are also charity alerts, but through another website, basically. You can test those here. And you can also run a Kappa Pogchenk or Sour Please via here if you want to test that as well. And if you have done that, you basically set up your alerts and they will work with your Twitch stream. However, they won't display in your stream yet. To do that, we need to go here and click on copy URL. Then we have our OBS here, and we need to click on the plus and add a browser source. Uh, alerts. And then you can uh, paste the URL here. So URL here. I'm not gonna paste mine here because, well, I don't want you guys to see it. <laughs> Make it 9020 by 1080. Control it via OBS, because then we can regulate the audio differently. And you might want to refresh browser when scene becomes active. This way it will refresh if you hide it and dehide it. So if you have any problems with it, you can click on the eye and unclick on the eye. And if we click on OK, right now it's not filling the screen because I made it smaller. <laughs> Otherwise that, that OBS block will be in front of it. But this, you can see that there is a red outline right here. It is here and we can test alerts and it will show up in here. We can hide them by clicking on this. Like I said, that automatically also refreshes the browser stores now. If you click on emulate right here, make sure that you mute your browser if you have your OBS open because both your browser and your OBS are gonna give that audio from the alert. So if you hear it double, it's because you have this browser open and you have your OBS open with the browser source in it. So don't worry about it. So mute this website if you're trying to test it in OBS. Another thing you might wanna know is if you go to advanced audio properties, you have here audio monitoring and you probably want yours on monitor only or monitoring output for the alerts. This way your stream can hear the alerts and you can hear the alerts. If you record your desktop audio, put it on monitor only. If you do not record your desktop audio, put it on monitor and output. This is how you can set up alerts in stream elements. Super easy, right? Learn more about stream elements right here. Learn more about Mix It Up app right here. Don't forget to subscribe right here to not miss any new videos and subscribe right here for my gameplay channel because, well, there's a lot of cool gameplay there. You don't want to miss that either. I'll see you there.